morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. Open our hearts, O God, to your wisdom and grace. <laughs> Help us celebrate your love this day. Came the heal, the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Came the call of sinner to yourself, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive us of our sinful ways, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly ask you, Lord, lover of human family, pour out more fully upon the grace of your spirit, so, so that we may walk worthily in the vocation to which you call us. We may bring witness to the truth before others and seek with confidence unity of all believers in the bond of peace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God our Savior, and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my, my true child in faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father, and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I, want, I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, You are my inheritance, O Lord. You, you are, are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast my life. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. disciple is superior to the teacher. When they fully are trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye and do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, but when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrites, Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
have a hat that commemorates a uh, I guess fire station in New York. And the hat is, was given to me by a priest friend of mine, a Jesuit, or a, I'm not sure, a preceptorist. And the reason the hat was made was to remember these firefighters. Every one of the firefighters lost his life, except one. His nephew did not lose his life because he was on vacation. So we had to come back to that. And I just bring that up because each year we remember that instance. And when I think about it, as we come upon this 20th anniversary, one thing I always leave in my mind is how people were helping people that day. And they were putting aside their differences. They weren't looking at the person's color of their face or what nationality or you know what they have, whatever they have done or how. They just wanted to help each other. And it's sad that we have to have events like that to remind us. Thank God that we do it, hopefully more naturally, but at least we know it's still there. There's still an innate feeling in our lives that when people are in trouble, we want to help them. And if we're in trouble, someone will help us. So maybe we just need, as we remember tomorrow, this tragic event, remember that the good people that gave their lives in helping others and those who gave their lives not even knowing what was going to happen to them. Let us continue our prayer in this day. For church leaders, may God grant them wisdom and mercy in shepherding their flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may God show them the way of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by hardships, may God's healing grace come upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in this faith community who dedicate themselves to the lives of service, may God imbue them with the strength and commitment they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, may God welcome them into their eternal home as they rejoice in His presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For Coy Lee Brown Sr., for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Lord God of all of creation, for your goodness, we have this bread of offering. To turn this given human as to it becomes for us the bread of life. Bless me, God, forever. Bless you, Lord God of all of creation, for your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the divine work of human hands, become for us our spiritual bread. Bless be God forever. Pray, my friends, yes, we have a bread and wine, the gift of our lives may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all Jesus. O oh Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered upon all, bestow the graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up the to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and right just. It is right and just our duty and salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, eternal God in heaven. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human family, also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is all right. And creatures serve you, all redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we extol with your angels and saints a joyful celebration to be acclaimed. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, you are the fault of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, becoming for us the bond and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and bring willingly to his passion to the bread. And blessing it and breaking it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up. Similar way as supper ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks to the to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and drink it. This is my chalice. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we take the bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, chalice of salvation, giving thanks, you have called us worthy to be in your presence and in to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of your Son, and we gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church that is spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity. Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, all of your people. Give our family and friends who have fallen asleep and hope the resurrection. All who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray. Bless the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. Bless Joseph, her spouse, and all of the saints who please you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs to eternal life as we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, be prayed from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, free us from sin, distress, and keep us safe as we wait in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity in your kingdom. And we live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. We share the peace of Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away all sin of the world. Happy are those called who suffer the Lamb. The act of spiritual communion. May Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadow the unity of faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Blessings of the Lord be upon you this day, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day, everyone. You, you too, Father. Father.